Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use Optifine with the Fabric Mod Loader and your Fabric Mods. This is a really, really cool setup and something that uh, I've been following for a while and I think it's honestly just really, really good and I want to do a video on it. So we're going to be showing you how to use Optifine with Fabric in this video. First and most, that we do with my smart sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love just Apex so much that we host our own server, play our breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, check out Apex at the first link down below. The breakdown XYZ slash Apex to get your server up and running quickly and easily. However, you're here to get Optifine up and running with the Fabric Mod Loader, so let's go ahead and jump on into it. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's actually going to take you here. This is a mod called OptiFabric, and as the kind of name would imply, it makes Optifine work with Fabric, right? So you're going to install this mod, you're going to install Optifine, and then it's going to work all together, and it's going to be great. So first things first, though, we need to download Optifine fabric and that can be found in the description down below. Once you're here, come over here to the right hand side, scroll down until you see this Minecraft 1.17 section, and then under that you'll see OptiFabric. Go ahead and click the orange download button to the right of that version. Then after a few seconds, OptiFabric will begin downloading, and in the bottom left we will need to keep the file. There we go, in the bottom left we will need to keep it. It's 100% safe to keep the file. Now you might need to save it in the center of your screen if you're on Mozilla Firefox, it'll be a bit different there. Let's go ahead now and move on to downloading Optifine. In the description down below you'll find this tutorial, which is how to install Optifine with Without fabric, but it does have the official Optifine download links that we keep up to date on them. That's why we're going through this. So go to the description down below, third link down below, download Optifine. It takes you here where you want to scroll down and click on the download Optifine button here, and it takes you to Optifine's official download page. Now, the time I'm recording this video, Optifine is still in beta or still in a preview version, and that means you do need to click preview versions here to see these. However, if this isn't here, preview versions, and you already have this list, that's perfectly fine as well. Also, you want to make sure that the number here is the highest one that's on this list. There's there's no reason to download 28, always download 29, 30, 40, 50, doesn't matter what the numbers are, doesn't matter if there is no pre here and it's just G9 for example, or G10 or G30, doesn't matter, but make sure you're downloading the one that's closest to the top. So again, once you're on Optifine's download page, click on preview versions here and then click on the mirror link right there. Once you click on mirror, it's going to take you to the official download page for Optifine 1.17.1 specifically, and you want to go ahead and click on the purple download button and Optifine will begin downloading in the bottom left. It might redirect or refresh your page like this. It's fine. Optifine's still downloading in the bottom left. As we can see, Optifine is down there. And we can go ahead and keep the file. It's 100% safe to keep Optifine. Now, you may need to save it in the super screen again on Mozilla Firefox because that's just how Mozilla Firefox is. Moving on from there, there's one more thing we need to download, and that's the Fabric Launcher itself. Fabric Launcher obviously is needed in order to run Optifine with the Fabric you're trying to use the fabric launcher anyway, you may already have it, but nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and click on the download installer universal slash dot jar button. This thing is going to go ahead and start the download in the bottom left for the Fabric installer. As you can see, you will need to keep that file. Again, you may need to save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox, but it's 100% safe to keep the Fabric installer by clicking right here. After you've done that, you can go ahead and minimize your browser. And for me on my desktop, I have OptiFabric, I have OptiFine, and I have the Fabric installer. If these aren't in your desktop, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, go ahead and click the little windows icon at the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. But click on that little windows icon at the top or bottom left of your screen. Go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. Click on that, and in here you will find all of these files. Drive them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we're going to be starting off with Fabric. Now, if these icons look different for you than me, just keep watching. I'm going to show you how to fix that. But first, let's see if you can even open up the Fabric installer. To do that, go ahead and right-click on the Fabric installer, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. But if you don't have Java here, what do you do? Well, we're going to go to the description down below, and we're going to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. Obviously, Fabric is a Minecraft mod, but specifically, Optifine is a Minecraft mod, so you need this in order to run this, you know, Optifine with Fabric, all that together. You need this version of Java, so come here, go through this. Now, for many of you, that will allow you to open up the installer, but you still may have weird logos. Your logos may not be Java logos, and to fix that, you want to go here and download and run the jar fix. This is going to take all the .jar files in your computer and link them back to Java, fixing your icons and all that stuff. Now, finally, we can go ahead and right-click on Fabric, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up the Fabric installer here, where we want to make sure 1.17.1 is selected, then go ahead and click Install. And then come back and say Successfully Installed. Fabric Loader has it installed for 1.17.1. Go ahead and click OK there and close out of the installer. The only reason that may not work, the only reason you may not have had success with the Fabric installer there, is if you've never played 1.17.1 before. If that's the case, go play it without any mods or anything like that, come back and that will work. Now we can go ahead and install Optifine and Optifabric. To do this, you want to click the little Windows icon against the top left of my screen, 
probably in the bottom left of your screen, but click that little red icon on the top or bottom left of your screen. Type in run are you in? You'll have this run app here. Click on that. And then in this run app, you want to type percent sign, app data percent sign. So percent app data percent, exactly like that, and hit enter. That's then gonna open up your roaming folder. And in your roaming folder, you're gonna have this dot Minecraft folder. In your dot Minecraft folder, once you've opened it up, you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Well, if you don't have one, just go ahead and right click over here create a new folder and title that folder mods, M-O-D-S all lowercase. For many of you though, I'm guessing you already have Fabric Mods installed and if that's the case, you would just open up your existing mods folder. Now to install Optifine with Fabric, you need to go ahead and drag and drop Optifabric and the Optifine file you downloaded into the mods folder. If you have already have mods in here that you're running with Fabric and 1.17.1, just go ahead and drag Optifine and Optifabric in here in addition to those mods. So as you can see, Optifabric, Optifine, there we go, they're now in the mods folder. At this point, you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And then once we've opened up the Minecraft launcher here, we want to go ahead and make sure the fabric loader is selected. Now ours is actually automatically selected. As you can see, we're good to go. Fabric loader 1.17.1. We can click play, click play again, and it will open. Now, if you don't see fabric loader 1.17.1 here, go ahead and click this little arrow and select it. However, if it's not in this drop down box here, go to installations, right? So come, click on installations up here at the top and then make sure this modded button is checked. As you can see, I uncheck it, fabric disappears, check it, fabric reappears. Again, we can click play and continue. Now for a small sect of you, you still won't have fabric here after clicking modded. And in that case, you wanna go ahead and click on the new installation here. And then you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Well, I'm gonna name it that because that is our own 1.17.1 grief protected survival server. I'm actually gonna be showing you Breakdowncraft a little later in this video, but it's got amazing rewards, an amazing vanilla survival setup. It's just truly incredible. If you love Minecraft survival, you will love Breakdown craft survival enhanced it's amazing come play this play breakdowncraft.com is the ip now the version is where we want to focus our time so click on this version drop down box here and then in here you want to click release fabric loader 1.17.1 right like so then once we've done that we can go ahead and change our resolution you don't have to but i'm just doing it so we can get in game the most important part is that this says fabric loader 1.17.1 under version Go ahead and click on the green create button. And now we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile. Most importantly though, it has fabric loader 1.17.1 under it. So we can go ahead and hover over that, click on the green play button, click that we understand we are playing modded Minecraft and click the green play button again. Now Minecraft 1.17.1 is gonna open up with Optifine installed with the fabric mod loader. That's what's really cool about this. Fabric is now using Optifine or you can now use Optifine with fabric. And what's great is this doesn't redistribute Optifine or anything like that, which we've seen hacked together in the past. This is using Optifine's actual file to run with fabric, which I love to to see. And here we are on the Minecraft main menu. We can actually see in the bottom left, Optifine 1.17.1 and Minecraft 1.17.1 Fabric are running. I'm going to just go to Options, Video Settings, and here's all the Optifine video settings, including shaders. I'm actually going to jump into the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com really fast, and show you that shaders are working in-game in, in 1.17.1 while running the Fabric loader. Really, really cool stuff. And there you have it. We are on Medieval Asgard and uh, absolutely beautiful shaders look here. We can go back to the spawn castle, for example, and look at that. Look at that. I love BSL shaders. I think it's become my favorite over time. Look at the rays. Wow. So yeah, there you have it. We can go to, I'll even go to warp, uh, warp fort east cliff because I think this would be a, yeah, that's a cool one too. <laughs> so there you have it. That is how you can download and install Optifine and Minecraft 1.17.1 using the fabric mod loader. It's really, really cool. Really, really simple. And honestly, one of the best things about uh, Optifine that I've seen recently is actually getting this installed because you can actually use Optifine with Fabric now and that's cool. That's not been the case for a while. It actually has been. This op mod's been around for a while, but I feel like it's really good now and really set up well. So anyway, there you have it. Do you have any questions? Let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown and I'm out. Peace.